The Churchill Falls plant was never designed to continue operating with no one on site. How long can that happen? So, you know, to say it can happen for 24 hours or two years, you know, we're checking it now, right? We're really kind of testing that. Um, as I said yesterday is we expect that as long as there's no significant fluctuations or major system disturbances, we can continue for quite some time. Um, plus, we do think there could be windows where you could probably get into some parts of the, I'll call it the whole system, which would be upcountry structures, that kind of thing, um, that would allow you to maybe make some of those further modifications. So, you know, um, I don't want this to go on for a year or two years because um, I think you want to be able to, not I think, you want to be able to get in and do routine maintenance to keep the plant in long-term good condition. Um, but yeah, I'm not concerned of this going on for a number of weeks. It's not ideal, but uh, we're okay, I think, to do that. And as we talked about yesterday, the remote operations center is, uh, although it's rudimentary, it, it, does, it, it does allow for some operations of the plant, albeit greatly diminished. Um, uh, and I think that that will be a kind of lesson moving forward and a takeaway, but um, a kudos to the to the the women and men who set that up and are operating it currently. I saw it live. You could he was increasing and decreasing loads uh, from from Happy Valley Goose Bay to the plant a couple hundred kilometers away. The I was just going to just add a little bit, and it might be stating some of the obvious. And I've been recounting this to some of the folks who are asking me, you know, sort of how are things going, and. There's, you know, 50 to 100 people who when their eyes open in the morning to when their eyes close at night, and I'm talking midnight, that this is all they're doing. And they're, they're chasing equipment. Um, they are coming up with brand new solutions that have never been tested before. There's another 100 that are 75% of their day is, is absolutely in support of this. Um, so anything that is possible with regards to supporting the employees and the evacuated um, family members, um, is there's a lot of folks that are supporting that. Um, keeping the plant going, um, as is, there's a lot of folks that are indeed supporting that. Alternative solutions, there's a lot of folks that are supporting that. Like, there is no expense spared, no stone unturned. Um, and, you know, a lot of lessons learned, and I think we learned, you look, we've had fires before, so we, we have some experience, you know, with this with, you know, Central there a couple of years ago, Bay to Spare, um, exploits. There's a lot of effort going into this, 